You tuned in to Nita's TV. Come watch me be brown. Come follow me. You tuned in to Nita's TV. Come watch me be brown. Roseanne, how are you? I'm doing fine, actually. Okay, that's good. Um, I just came in to tell you that the doctor did agree on discharging you today, 100%. Okay. And he also sent me in here to let you know that you'll be sent home with a prescription called Capra. Okay. It's to manage your seizure-like activity. Um, You'll take one 500-milligram tablet twice a day. And if you notice, like, your seizures are more consistent or, you know, really bad headaches or something like that, just please okay. give us a call and we'll bring you in for more testing and we'll possibly, you know, give you a higher dosage. Okay? Okay, thanks for the information. So, yes, do you have any questions for me? No, I don't have any questions. I don't. But why would she have to take seizure medication if the EEG test came back negative? <sighs> I'm sorry for my daughter, nurse. I understand what you're saying. So there's no need for further explanation. Oh, no, she's fine. You don't have to apologize for her. But I do have one more question. Do you have someone who's going to pick you up today? Um, yes, my friend said that she'll be here in about an hour or two. Okay, so I'm going to go leave and get your discharge papers, and I'll be back shortly. If you need me for anything, please press your call button, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, I'll see you later. Why does she have to come and get us? Brent. How else are we going to get home? I would rather catch the damn bus. What is wrong with you? Why do you have to say things like that? Mm, mm. Gosh. Mm. Britt, are you doing okay? I just don't understand why they have to come here. You are fine. Brit, I'm a little scared. I am. And I would feel more better if someone that's more responsible would be here for a few days just to keep an eye on me. Really? Brit, I am responsible. I can take care of you by myself. Brittany, no, you're not. Mumu told me that when she found me unresponsive, you wouldn't even give her the address. That was in the fucking past. I didn't know what was going on. Exactly. I need someone here that's going to call 911 immediately. So Auntie and Mumu is coming over here, whether you like it or not. Ah! It is what it is. Blow me, bitch. I 
Auntie, you can keep your things in the living room. Okay. And boo, you could just take your bag and bridge through. Why the hell would you walk past when I'm watching TV? You could have said, excuse me. Honey, please don't start with me. No, you don't start with me. This is my damn room, and you just come in with the attitude? Girl. Girl, you! What is that? What the hell is going on in here? I don't want either of you here. Listen here, little girl. We only came here to help your damn mama. So all that attitude you got, you can say that shit. I don't care. This is my house so I can feel however I want to feel. You don't pay no damn bills in here, so close your motherfucking mouth for I close it for you. <gasps> I cannot wait until I move the hell out of here. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. We all waiting on that damn day because I'm sure Roseanne going to throw a motherfucking party. Oh, really? Blow me, bitch. Ain't nobody blowing shit and quit all that damn hollering. Your mama trying to get her rest on that damn couch. Mom, I'm finna go stay with my friends. She you ain't going me. no damn where. Sit your ass right there and watch TV with little damn Britney. And that's what the hell it's gonna be. Ha! Ha! Damn hospitals will do that to you. People coming in and out your damn room all night and don't even be wanting shit. I know, right? I could barely even sleep while I was there. I just hope that I'm able to get some sleep tonight because Lord knows I need it. I really do. How the hell are you mad at me? Your mother told you that you couldn't go. Be mad at her. Girl, please stop talking to me. I can talk to her if I want to talk to her in my will. Girl, move. You thought you was tough? You think that's tough? Oh! Here we go again. What the hell is going on? Ma, it's Brittany. She been messing with me since we've been here. How the hell is it me? You put your hands on me. Cause you can't and I gave me. you what the hell you deserve. That's why I didn't want to come here, Ma. Little Brittany, we're going to be here so your ass might as well get used to it. I'm not going to keep coming in this damn room for the same shit. No one told you to come in here. I see you want your ass popped. Go the fuck away. And what are you going to do with that? <laughs> Next time, close your motherfucking mouth or I'm tearing your ass up again. <laughs> Why would you do that? I'm just doing what the hell Roseanne ass need to be doing. Tearing your ass up. Now, if I had to come back in this goddamn room, we're going to have a motherfucking problem. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma. Little damn Brittany. Yes. That's what the hell I thought. Your mama just brought her ass from the damn hospital. The least you can do is be your ass quiet. Fucking hate it here. Girl, I don't see how the hell you put up with Brittany ass. She would have been put out if this was my damn house. Is she causing trouble again? No, nah, I done got her ass together. She's just mad because we gonna be here for a few damn days. Not that again. We talked about that earlier. I told her that you and Mumu were coming over to keep an eye on me. Hell, you didn't have to explain that. This is your damn house, not her. I know. Mm -hmm. It's fine. And I bet you she part of the reason your ass was in the damn hospital. You know stress can cause you to pass the hell out, right? I know. Don't let that damn girl stress you out. Do not let her ass stress you out. Next time, it could be worse. God forbid. And where the hell is her dad at? Her dad lives about 20 minutes away, but he doesn't get her often because she disrespects him as well. You know I blame y'all. Y'all to let this damn girl do whatever the hell she want to do for so long and not her ass out of control. But I don't believe in physical discipline, so what am I supposed mm. to do? I do. I 
believe that if a child disrespects you, you have every right to tear their ass off. And I know that that's in the Bible somewhere. You are hilarious. You are. And I'm serious as hell. Put that girl in her damn place before it's too late. You know, let me show you something. My name is Brittany. I don't give a damn what your name is. I know this damn bathroom better be clean. And what's that funky shit I smell in there? Ma, that's Brittany Jackie. What the get the hell off of me? Why the hell would I be funky? Who knows? It was like that when I came here. I am Get your big funk ass up and get in that goddamn shower. Would you wear a damn jacket every damn day? You ain't got no motherfucking clothes? What you sleeping in it? I'm not musty. Yeah, something. I know you better get your ass up and come clean this goddamn bathroom and clean your ass right after. <clears throat> and make sure your ass clean every damn thing because I'm coming back to check. Put some bass in your damn voice and she'll learn how to respect you. Why was she hollering? I ain't worried about that. Long as she clean that damn bathroom, one thing at a damn time. I understand, but knowing Britt, as soon as you leave, she'll be back to her normal self. And that's when you call me and I'll set her ass straight or you can put her ass out. I can never see myself putting my daughter out. Look, it's either you or it's her. She done already sent your ass to the damn hospital. The next time your ass might not make it out. Is that what the hell you want? I mean, you do have a point, but at the end of the day, I love my daughter. Yeah, okay. I love mine too, but I bet you mine know not to ever disrespect me like that again. I bet you that. Honey, are you almost done cleaning the bathroom? Shut the hell up talking to me. Roach ass! Stop it! Look, girl, don't make me come in there. Your mama said, are you almost done cleaning that damn bathroom? Not yet. Come on in here. But I'm not done cleaning. Ain't no damn butt. Bring your ass in here before I put my foot off in your ass. with a smart ass mic. I didn't do anything. Oh, really? Roseanne, tell her how the hell you feel. Brittany, when I was in the hospital, you had an attitude. When I get out of the hospital, you still have this attitude. So no, I don't feel loved by you. Why the hell wouldn't I love you? Because you don't act like it, Brent. You're my mother. And your ass never act like it. This damn lady could have died and this how the hell you gonna treat it. Right. Shut it up. Who the hell is you talking to? If I had died, how would you feel? I would have been sad, okay? Is that what you want to hear? What I want is for you to tell me how you would honestly feel. I know you can talk. Mom, I would fucking miss you, okay? But actions speak louder than words. If you care about me, show me. Exactly. Now tell your mama that you're sorry for being so damn disrespectful. Mm. Tell him I'm tearing your ass up. I just want to tell you that I'm sorry for being so disrespectful all the time. Mm. I love you, Roseanne. Mm. I love you. And I love you more, Brent. I really do. Ain't that sweet. Now take your ass back in there and clean that goddamn bathroom. Now, didn't that make you feel good? Yes, it really did. And thanks for having my back, Auntie. I really appreciate it. Oh, no damn problem. You know, I'm always ready to get in the kid's ass. Always! I hope you enjoyed it, baby. <laughs> I got a lot of videos, y'all. Go follow me on Instagram at... A-N-I-T-A underscore L-A-S-H-A-Y underscore. And you can also add me on Facebook, Auntie Comedy. 
Yeah, do that. Bye.